Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy, also known as ETCG1 when posting videos to this channel. Hi, how the heck are you? Hey, if it's your birthday, happy birthday. Here's a cake. Hope you enjoy it. Today's video is about why timing marks don't always line up. Uh, whether you're doing a timing belt or a timing chain, you may notice when you go to put things together that things are just ever so slightly off. Maybe by a couple of millimeters, it almost looks like it's a tooth. Maybe it's a tooth, maybe it's not a tooth. If it is a tooth, you should fix it. I just recently did a timing belt and water pump and shot a video uh, with this 99 Honda Civic that's behind me. And it got me to thinking about this. From what I know, timing marks or timing gears on engines are designed to be hunting, meaning that they don't want the same tooth on that belt or that same link in that chain to come around and come into contact with the same gear each and every rotation. <clears throat> so they make the gears slightly offset. So as the belt comes around, it is hunting. So it comes into contact with a different gear on the first rotation and so on and so forth until it comes back. How many times does it take for a given tooth on a belt uh, to come up uh, after you mark it? Well, let's find out now with the Civic. Did you guess right? Well, I'm sure you did see my point that that timing mark took several rotations before it came back up around and came into contact with that same quote unquote link on that cam gear. As I stated, the reason for that is, is it's designed to be hunting, so it's ever so slightly off. Hence the reason why those timing marks may be ever so slightly off when you go to line them up. Now, granted, if they're a tooth or something off, then you should do what you can to address that. However, if it's just a little bit off by a few millimeters, don't sweat it. It's designed to be hunting. That's the way it's supposed to be. And I hope this information was helpful and useful to you. Anyway, that was fun, right? I'll post links in the description to additional information. And if possible, I'll post a link to the uh, timing belt and water pump on this vehicle. If not, I'll post something for you to look at. Uh, if you have automotive questions not covered in this video, I ask that you head to ericthecarguy.com, also linked down in the description. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all those things that help me make a living because I really, really appreciate it. I love making these videos for you. I want to keep doing it. ETCG1 videos come out on Monday, so stop back and see me then or watch them whenever you like. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.